Hey, what's up? I'm the VS Chick. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm not doing a mod, I'm doing a fix. So, this has been happening for ages. I don't quite know how to explain it, so I might just show you a clip of, you know, what the issue is. So, yeah, initially I thought it was a flat battery because um, it was doing it all the way through Tassie and I knew my battery was, you know, on the out. Um, but it sounds different to when there's a flat battery. So you can kind of hear that it's like, it's there, but it's just not kicking in. It's not, it's like something's not connected. Um, anyway, so I had been riding my bike to work like every day for two, three weeks. And then one day it just, yeah, started making that noise and I just couldn't get the thing started. I was like, what the hell? So I contacted my trusty mechanic and he came out and had a look for me. I don't know what it is with mechanics, but he touched my bike, boom, turned it on, worked first go. I was like, what? He suggested it was probably the, let's see if I can say this right, the stolenoid. I think that's how you, what you, how you pronounce it, stolenoid. Um, but basically it's the starter relay. So there's power in the battery, but um, yeah, I don't really know how to explain it. But listen, he told me what it is that needs to be fixed. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go and sort that out myself. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And it's green, so that means it's genuine. <laughs> Stick around and I will fix it for you. Fix it for me. I actually wanna go for a ride this afternoon. So I need to get this thing fixed. I think Rebel's getting back from work in about an hour. So I've got an hour to do this. So I'm gonna stick you on a tripod and then we're just gonna get started. So battery, and then it's in here. I'm just gonna disconnect the battery and then uh, see if I can get access to this and then switch it over. Now, you don't have to take the battery out, but I'm probably a little bit overcautious because when I was a kid, I electrocuted myself, literally knocked the wind out of me. So I'm taking that battery out and I am just gonna be super cautious. Okay, so now the battery's disconnected um, and now I'm gonna figure out how to kind of get into here and get access to that so I can replace it. So that is it. It's like underneath this little flappy thing and I think you can just pull the whole thing out like that. So yeah, if you just lift that little part there up, I've got some connectors there. So I'm gonna undo these two. And I think this will pull out as well. And I should be able to just replace it. We'll see. A little washer that comes out with that too. So this is the old one. This is the new one. So now I'm just going to put that back in, and um, <clears throat> hopefully I won't have any issues anymore. So 
see how this one's silver, this one's gold, so when you put it back in, silver, gold, make sure it goes in the right way. So on the side, see how there's like a little hole there? So when you put it back in, they just slide back on these two things here. Put that little flat back over. All right, I'll reconnect the battery. And then I think we're done. So positive goes back on first, then negative. I'm just gonna chuck the seat on and then we'll give it a go. Fingers crossed. All right, moment of truth. was about 180 bucks that um, that part and um, if you find yourself having the same issue at least this video can help you out and um, you know you can be back on the road as soon as you can so yeah if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful um, make sure you give me a like subscribe and I will catch you on the road because I'm going somewhere so cool I'm gonna film it rebel and I are going there I'm not gonna tell you where it is but check out the next video because it's gonna be good fun um, I'm really excited about this ride. Uh, anyway, yeah, peace out. All right, so we just got back from our ride. It was really freaking cool. So the video, you'll have to watch it because it was good fun. Um, but I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about how I was electrocuted. I was playing with the PlayStation. And I thought I was fixing it. Turns out I wasn't fixing it and mm -hmm. I zapped myself twice. What an idiot. Anyway, just thought I'd let you know.